you. If your armpits feel like a wet mop glop, stop the sweat sop with a hop to the pop stop. <laughs> what do we call you? The popsicle guy. The title of popsicle guy doesn't come easy. It's the result of hard work and a little good luck. Me and my two friends, Barrett and Matt. This is Matthew. And that's Barrett. I've always been really interested in business and we've always just kind of discussed what we're going to do. And a couple years ago, the food truck game started getting really serious in Champagne. I'm the numbers guy. I keep everything in order, make sure the business is working properly. He's the chill factor. <laughs> He's the lead man. We kind of do the most on the ground. We stick the popsicles in a box with him, and he just freezes them. I'm the selling guy. With their powers combined, they created the Pop Stop. At first, they didn't even sell popsicles. We wanted to sell popcorn and uh, soda pop, which we still do. And I guess, like, a pop? I, I don't know. We thought it somehow made sense, but the more we thought about it, it didn't really make any sense at all. Actually, somebody came up to the truck in front of Joe's, like, our first week out, and was like, is this a popsicle truck? And it just, like, lightning to the head. We're like, it should be. So, uh, we decided to sell popsicles. But not just any popsicles. They have flavors like strawberry rhubarb pie and maple bacon cookie dough. That's the one I'm most proud of. Because, I mean, it's bacon in a popsicle. The first few recipes we made up on our own, and then we started looking to other sources for inspiration. I got, like, six library books. I just, like, kind of read through them, chose what we liked out of them, what we didn't, put our own spins on it. And we've just been, for the last, like, six months, just create, creating things in the lab and uh, just figuring it out. You just kind of cut them up, get the ends off and put them aside for later. I've always liked science a lot, so it's really kind of the same thing, you know? You come up with a hypothesis, you, you predict what's gonna happen, you make a recipe, you try it out, you get some people to evaluate it, and you just try it again. There's a lot of preparation that goes into this. We're definitely trying to make this something that's unique, something that's fun, trying to get more creative than just your regular ice cream place. This is what we use to discipline and negligent employees. Like him. <laughs> I'm trying to take uh, inspiration from lots of other recipes. Just, I looked, I googled classic pies. And I looked at them, like pumpkin pie, rhubarb pie, uh, yep. like key lime, like I'm gonna try to try them all out, you know, different pies, different cakes, different sorbets, different ice creams, just take different flavors from current desserts and put it on a stick. People will probably see you out in the streets and they're gonna yell, hey, popsicle guy. <laughs> Are you okay with that? I'm perfectly fine with that. Where I work, people have been calling me that for months. Cheers, guys. Cheers. That sucks, <laughs> Anna. Mmm, it was a great cameo by our intern there, Destiny. I saw that. She's willing to come on shoots where we get food, I guess. But you can locate the Pop Stop by checking out their social media, Twitter, Facebook, their website. I'll have links on our website. What was your favorite, by the way? Well, I only had one, unfortunately. Oh. oh. I'm open to having all 20 flavors at some point across. Yeah, we didn't get them in here.